Well, I figure I'd take my own crack at my own version of Empty Jar, at least what's possible with uh, this game. Um, with the badge list I'm working with, because quite frankly, one of the cards I can play three copies of, I assume you know, I'm using one of the earlier lists where it's just not known. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be able to use it. For it is far too powerful. Plus, I have access to Sangin. <laughs> Um, which is banned, though, on the list I'm playing with right now. Ah, uh, yes, Gravity Bind wouldn't work on, uh, this monstrosity. That's fine. Well, I think I'll go with, uh, Morphing Jar. Just because it'll get me a new hand. Okay, draw. Well, he doesn't have anything in the grave yet, so I can't activate this. This will limit what he can do with some of his other attack options. Okay, countered it. Uh, maybe I'll want to use this later? I'm not sure. Okay. I mean, if he, uh... Of course not. Okay. Gravity Bind. I mean, I'm still gonna lose, uh... Two useful cards here. I don't think he has anything in the graveyard we can play against right now. Um... Hand draw. Yeah, that's just in there for a joke, to be honest. It doesn't really help with any of the strategy. Though, with all the jars we got in here, we might accidentally, you know, draw into and get the summit anyway, because of morphing jars effect. Gosh darn it. Um, Thunder Ruler, I suppose, will chuck. Then we can add Morphing Jar back into hand. Set it next turn. Right now, I just want something like Killable on the field, so... You know, I don't have to keep constantly worrying about stuff. Like losing life points. Well, that was a tremendous effort for nothing. I'll admit, the burn effect is just nice. I just want something that could be killed in battle. Besides Spirit Reaper, you know, increase the odds of getting something that can stop stuff. Okay, set you. Set that, I might want it. And that, I suppose, then end turn. Well, I already know they're gonna pop, you know, my card. I really want to try on the Needle Worm, man. But the amount of recursion we're gonna get with some of this stuff's nice. Okay. I could use Cyber Jar against him. I mean, at this point, he's got basically a full board. Well, I do not. Uh, end phase. I mean, I'll lose, uh, my Marshmallow, but that's fine. Oh, five monsters? No. Still five monsters. No, I'm not gonna stop that. As far as I'm concerned, this is great. You're not gonna draw a single monster. Okay. I 
he's only got five cards, we'd suffer way worse. If we activate card destruction right now, we, well, we'd have to draw, uh, tree draw 11 cards. It's useless. Okay. Yeah. I first have to activate stuff. Um, we could put another morphing jar down. Okay. Well, this would let me discard a card. Then add a card back. Well, I think I'll take you. Okay, still not enough. Okay. Nope. Make you discard five cards. Okay, put you back down defense mode. I could activate another shallow grave, but I don't think there's anything in here that's worth bringing back for us. Yeah, I could, I guess, bring back uh, Jinzo and block an attack. Still not good enough. I, I'd still suffer worse. End phase. Besides, this duel is basically already over. Because I got two Needleworm sets. I mean, most he can kill is one, right? No, I'm not going to stop him from killing that. And him drawing cards just helps me at this point. Ah, uh, can I jack up its power, huh? Useless. No. Well, got some more discards. Draw a card. Set that. Activate this. Admittedly, the opponent can only bring back, uh... Can only do this once. I would like to do it multiple times, but the opponent's field's not full. I can't do it again. I can activate Swords Revealing Light to shut down, uh... That thing, though. Okay, I could force deck out via that means, I guess. Okay, activate. Card of Destruction for the win, what can I say? This will cost me points, though. Because I didn't get, you know, a uh, kill on their turn bonus. By letting them try and draw a card that didn't exist. Yeah, back in the day when milling wasn't exactly the worst possible effect, though I admit using Morphing Jar to do it still is risky, because you might give your opponent, you know, a good hand they can use to try and bounce back. Hence why we have trap cards to stop the battle phase, or, you know, stop high-level monsters, you know, from doing anything. All of the, I imagine a lot of opponents' monsters would probably be lower level anyway, because effect monsters are usually where the game was at even back then. Like, the, the beat stick strategy did not last for very long. Till next time, then. See ya.